Hi guys, Kim here. Six Sun, where our focus goes, grows. Whatever we focus on amplifies. Please be mindful as to where your focus is. With the last video I did, I talked about an event occurring. And what I focused on was the event occurring universally or externally. And what I did not think about or consider was the micro-macro concept. Or this awakening is occurring from within. And then the mirror world we live in reflects that. What I did notice with this full moon is a huge ramp up in emphasis of what is going on in the outside world. That it became almost impossible to have a conversation about anything else but what is going on in the outside world. It's crazy, this emphasis. Like we suddenly got ramped up into a new level of focus. My point in this is these experiences that are happening in the external world are there for one reason and one reason only for us to learn from. For us to be able to adapt to a world where we're no longer focused on the monkey business, trying to figure it out, it's mental. So I think that our job is to extract the wisdom from the external, then refocus our energy into moving forward, integrating that which we have learned, not lugging it forward on our back so it gets focused and refocused over and over. This is their game. That's a game of rote. Repeating a message so many times that you believe it regardless if it makes any logical sense at all. So we need to pull the wisdom out of these experiences and then adapt and again let go. I'm not talking about putting our heads in the sand here and pretending it's not occurring. But I am beginning to see a pattern emerge. And the pattern I am seeing is that if there is an emotional reaction within then it's something that needs to be worked on. If there is no emotional reaction, then the focus does not need to be there anymore, as we will have transcended the concept. I was listening to somebody talk about the chakras yesterday, and they were saying that the three lower chakras contained emotional triggers. I think a big part of this journey is, is understanding our own emotional selves, and there may be a big clue there. I know with the problems I've encountered over the last few days it was necessary for me to withdraw and then return to a conflict connecting initially through the heart so the heart connection was in place before I proceeded to revisit the subject in question. This might be a vague description for anyone to follow but if you are aware of the energy of the chakras then each of the three lower chakras has a component which relates to something that we might fear. Fear of our security being threatened, fear of our image of ourselves being damaged so others might not like us, fear of th other people thinking badly of us, or fear that our egos, that which we hold dear in our belief system, might not be true. My previous video called Are You the Rainbow Warrior or Living Beneath the Waste? The Waste felt W-A-S-T-E or W-A-I-S-T sort of explains in a broad sense what I'm being told by source in relation to the importance of understanding where we're operating from. We're like operating an operating system that has contained within it a virus, so to speak, or viruses. And so it's necessary for us to clean out those programs that are not assisting us to grow through the process. So clean out our hard drive. Emotion is the flag. If you're feeling a reaction, then retreat rethink before going in there with guns blazing because there is likely something in there that you thought was right but your subconscious mind has a different idea about that. I don't think I've talked about this before but for a while now I've held an idea that if I'm angry I'm wrong and the reason for this is that I think that it is one of our built-in fail-safes might be a communication between our conscious and subconscious and it has a trigger that goes off when our conscious and subconscious are not in alignment with each other. Just my idea. It's not written in stone. But I often refer to it personally when I'm angry and I re-examine what my belief is and why. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But I find all the same it's a marker and one tool that I value within me and I do recognise it. So in closing, all I'd like to say is be very mindful where you're focusing your energy at this time. What are the contents of your conversations to those closest to you? And if when you think about this, you are continuously discussing current affairs, then it might be a good time to have an agreement between you to limit those conversations and move along. There's a great deal of it. There's nothing for you to see here. Like all awarenesses, it takes time 
and focus to achieve this. It isn't going to happen overnight. Gradually you'll find yourself incorporating a better reality by not wholly and solely focusing on the subject that is pretty much out of our control. Thanks for this.